Hey, we're playing Sly 4. Let's go ahead and continue we mission. We need to take Penelope down. But how? Man, we need Bentley back. I am still a bit bewildered that the Black Knight was a friend of yours. Yeah, well, obviously she's no friend of ours now. In the face of such treachery, there is but one option. We storm the castle and smash this villain! Okay, slow down, Turbo. How do we get inside the castle? That? I know not. However, I do know how we may create some exceedingly useful explosive devices. You and I must part ways. I will gather fire bulbs while you must procure a bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Of course. And where would I get this? Why, at the carnival, of course. I hope your archery skills are satisfactory. Oh, I think I'm up to snuff. Then the die is cast! What was that little Everywhere. Fortnite emote? Okay. So we gotta... Seek the elusive firebulb. Um, where is... Oh. Oh, this is... See, I was trying to what climb these earlier. It should open forthwith. Yeah, I was trying to climb these earlier, trying to look for bottles, not realizing why in the world can I not, you know, get to the top. That makes more sense. But fireball time. Don't need it. Ah, no finer specimen will be found. Now to ferret out two more. I feel like those things would give horribly bad heartburn. These bulbs will surely make impressive bombs. Or free heartburn. Hello? Where are you? Hello? Oh, do we need to maybe... Oh, my bad. Don't mind me. Yo! Don't mind me. I'm just, uh... One last swipe is needed. I just got away, so... Joke's on you, bud. Skirt. I love how he has a sword and a cane. He's dual wielding. Akimbo swords. Alright, where's the last one? I need but one more bulb. All right, toward the bulb we go. Yeah, honestly, most of these guards are actually a joke. Half the time you don't... Ah! I say that and then I get smacked, but... Half the time you don't really even need to worry about them. That's sexist, bro. Oh, they made... <laughs> this was the easiest one. He just jumped twice. Bop. Alright, Sly? What do we need to get with Sly again? Oh, the Mert powder. Oh, yeah. I am a god archer. No problem. I used to do it in my backyard. I used to have, like, a little toy bow with some homemade stick arrows and a cardboard box. And I was an absolute unit. Catch me outside, bro. Alright. We just go to the front of the carnival and say, I'm trying to play the game. Whoop, that was close. Alright, Merlin, where you at? I'm trying to get some of your powder. Ladies and gents, try your luck in our game of skill. Well, hello, Governor. Want to have a go? Do well enough, and you could win yourself one genuine bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Guaranteed to cure despair, curl your hair, and answer your prayer. So, how is it for making bombs? I. Get us some fire bulbs in its bang zoom combustion. That feels like you shouldn't have told me that. Alright, what do I need? Oh, oh, that's. Oh, okay, I get it. I believe you are a ringer, I do. Ah, oh, tip top that. I should probably hit towards the middle, huh? Wicked shot, geezer. Oh, <laughs> you got the eye, friend. I'm gonna use a counter strike well, to paint off. You do it, me son. Bro. How do they have cut That's out some Murray? Bad. When in the world did they get those? Have I hit one bad target yet? Oh, I'm going for the world oh, record. Oh! I'm sick. <gasps> right as I start gloating. Okay, 
You're in that brilliant shooting boy. Sick. Magic powder. In record time too. Job complete. Alright, let's go make explosives. Don't. Maybe I shouldn't say that out loud. I should also not type that in on the internet. Look, I have the FBI in my house. Alright, Murray. It's your time to shine, homeboy. Let's go most likely punch something. But I'm not going to assume. But likely we're punching something. Bentley has been known to retreat in a shell for long periods when depressed. Yo, someone get this man in some medication, bro. Get him an SSRI for real. Alright, I'm going to try to Kobe him into that guy. Yeet. Never mind. I Kobe him straight into a basket of fruit. It's healthy for you. Excuse me. Just... Excuse me. Just trying to hop in the catapult. Hello? Do you have treasure? No? Well, then you're going to die. You're an owl, bro. Just fly. What's wrong with you? Yeet. Alright, where? Are we just blowing up the front gate? Okay. All right, there we troops, go. Listen up. As you all know, Bentley is still unavailable. But we've got to come up with a plan. So I'm calling this meeting for him. Hey, Carmelita. Quiet, Ringtail. We don't have time for your smart remarks. We've got to hit Penelope before she can finish whatever it is she's trying to finish. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Look, it's pretty simple. We need to get into that castle. We've got the explosives. I was going to bring that up, too. Not another word, Sly. Your speech does nothing to lift our spirits, Sly. Gallif, do you think we could plant your explosives on the bridge controls? Sounds! This plan and rings true okay everyone get ready to move out after that bridge comes down we'll have to get in there fast sorry i missed the part about what we do when we get inside we'll have to improvise sounds good to me yeah i don't think sly's against improvising it's basically how he's lived his life this whole time <gasps> finally got someone that can swim where's demetria when we need him bob I'm surprised they didn't make that into, like, a mission thing. Like, a swimming mission. Call up Dimitri. Yo, let me get your scuba gear, homie. And then, you know. We can fight some sharks and some piranhas. I'll sally forth and smash that mechanical monstrosity. No! Gallif, wait! He's not the brightest, is he? Why, thank you, Gallus. I've been looking all over for that. She is making her escape! I don't think so. One robot into a bigger robot. And this robot's gonna step into a bigger robot. Oh. That doesn't look fun. Hmm. Archery towers. My favorite. <gasps> a little bit. Bop. I'm gonna smack your shoulder. Smack. Ooh. Smack your shoulder. Alright. Nah, I think I'm good still, to be honest. <laughs> My bad. Skirt. Woo! That almost got me. Yeah, I don't like those lasers. They look scary. Hey, Penelope! I saw some robots <gasps> over there. Got him. Okay. This is Course definitely. One of the cooler boss fights of this game. Right right in the Iron Man 
Little poor thingy. Great. Looks like I gotta take those arms out again. Really? Alright. No shot. Bonk. Yeah. Thank you, Sly, for that. Alright. Bentley's got no legs. I'm about to make you so you don't have no arms. See how Bentley feels. You broke his little turtle heart, you know, wiener. What's wrong, Penelope? Feeling disarmed? Uh. Alright, I really got it. Bro, let me. J she can't do him in that. F no, it's not. She can't do him that fast. It's not fair. Let's do through this hole right here. Bonk. Uh, no arms. Now I'm getting the hang of this. Maybe you should have made a better mech then. Your mech is kind of doo doo. Get better. That's not good. Do you have any idea what that suit was worth? It was one of a kind. You cost me too much already, Cooper. It's time to pay the fiddler. That's enough, Penelope. Huh? You heard me. Bentley, your suit is that my my moat monster? Yeah, what's left of it anyway. The design was adequate. I made some adjustments. Hmm. It was just a prototype anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much at least. Why? For you, of course. I had to make you see how things could be. I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh, bad guys? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most valuable thing Sly ever stole? Your potential! Together, we could change the world! But you're still chasing after honor for jump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow. And I thought you were smart. Do you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now! You're his puppet. And when you've served your purpose, he's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley, but I guess it's time to make this breakup official. Penelope, wait. We don't have to do it like this. Oh, I think we do. It's time to cut some strings for good. Why didn't they say it's time to rumble? I think that'd be, that would have been funny. What are those, uh, uh, the bot battles? What are those things called? Bot. Those little, like, toy robot mech battles. Ooh. You tell him, Bentley. You tell him. Bop, bop. Ba battle bots. That's the one. Battle bots. We need to get ourselves a couple of uh, drills, a couple of little flamethrowers, a couple of pincers, a couple of ramps, a couple of flippers. Uh -huh. Alright, mistakes were made. I used too much gas. Whoop, mistakes were made again. <gasps> I made a mistake. Yo, how was I doing amazing and then now I'm trash? No gas, bro, no gas. She's actually catching up, which is the scary part. Oh, 
bop. Come at me. Mike Tyson, one, two, let's go. Uh, <gasps> Ayo. You call that vector analysis? <laughs> vector analysis? What in the world does that mean? Isn't a vector just a line? Bro, don't beat up your girlfriend. That's not very nice. Thanks, Bentley. Look, I'm sorry about Penelope. No, Slime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. You know anyone that could swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. So what, we just beat her up for fun and then left her there? Not gonna, like, take her back to jail or something? <gasps> Is Carmelita gonna take her? We contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim al Kupar who was in trouble now. Which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. Before the Paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him. Which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley. And we were going to need every ounce Dude. of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. Bentley's anime arc is kind of sick. I'd, I'd watch a whole anime on Bentley. I'm sure they could do it up pretty good. Too bad the slime movie never came about. We'd traveled to ancient Arabia to find Salim al Kupar, an ancestor said to possess the stealth of 40 thieves. No surprise then when Bentley's research revealed that this guy was a charter member of the infamous 40 Thieves. For once, it appeared we'd have plenty of backup to help out with this job. When we arrived, however, we were shocked to find that most of the thieves had already retired. Having made their fortunes and gotten older, these great thieves had decided to call it quits and enjoy their golden years in peace. As you should. What wasn't shocking was the unmistakable presence of Cyril the Paradox. Nasty looking guards patrolled everywhere, and it was clear that something sinister was going on. After some detective work, Bentley had even worse news. No one had seen Salim al Kupar for some time. He had been working with a few of the remaining thieves, but had simply vanished. Like the Avatar. So where was he? That was the first thing we needed to figure out. All right, let's see if they came up with a proper title here. 40 Thieves, okay. A little lackluster if you're, if you're asking me, but uh, sure. We'll go with 40 Thieves here. What time? Okay, we just got 20 minutes on the episode. ThiefNet, did we get any money or no? No, not really. I don't think there's anything we can buy for 300 either. What is there? Nope. Locally, locally. Well, then let's go ahead and continue out. Let's grab up our boy Sly. Let's see what we can do. Penelope once disguised herself as the Black Baron. Yeah, she's um a fan of disguises, it seems. She loves dressing up as men. Alright. Ooh, what in the world is this map? I have... Is that a scorpion? Oh, what up? Do you bounce me? Hey, yo. 
I'm bouncing on a camera. What up? Is that a gun? Is that a rocket? What are you laughing at, doofus? What are you laughing at? I'm gonna smack you. There's the safe right out in the open. Let's go ahead and uh, just zoink this right now. Is there something over there? Give me that money. And we still have the clockwork eye, right? So if there's a bottle, it should let us know. Okay. Bop. Am I going somewhere random that, like, doesn't matter? Am I just wasting my time here? I'm probably just wasting my time. That's a lot of ships, though. Yeah, why did I... This is probably for a later mission. I don't even... Oh, no, is it treasure? All my homies love treasure. Alright, let's grab it up. Later, skater. Oh, we actually did it. That was sick. And we got the super run, so... I'm not too worried about the timing of it all. Yeah, I don't know why they gave us more than a minute. We definitely didn't need that long. Easy treasure. Give me at least 250 for it. Wait, teen, really? That's it? Trash. Garbanzo beans. Probably grab a press zero there, but whatevs. Ah, there you are. Okay. Come here, bottle. You belong to me. You too. Come here. Boing. Whoop. Little roof jump. You'd love to see it. Where is this? Is that mission up there? No, it's probably just under here, right? <gasps> yep. Well, I do this. The cheek okay, and a half right there. Word on the street is that Salim Al Kupar was driven into hiding, but that he's still in the area. We need to figure out where he's hiding and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. After gathering data from your ancestors, I've been able to map the Cooper DNA. I've modified your binoculum with a new visual guidance system, and I've programmed to detect anything with which Salim Al Kupar may have come in contact. Wow, Bentley, that's some real science fiction. Okay. Let's get this bottle while we're at it. But. It's walking on this rain of building. I love how the thing it's telling me how to sprint. Yeah, I'm like at the last level of the map. Or the last map of the game. Bentley. Here's your door pick. Okay, Sly, you should get out of there and head for the village while I sort this out. I've marked a waypoint for you. Can I destroy this stuff? Ah. Okay. Apparently I can't destroy this stuff. See you later, snakes. Bunch of losers. Alright. I wonder, should we just, like... Look for bottles this episode, the rest of this episode. I still need some more data, Sly. Keep searching. Okie dokie. Don't mind if I just look for a couple more bottles while I'm at it, though. Oh, there you are, bud. Whoops. I was. I should have pressed zero, but that time I will admit it, I did not. That was indeed my fault. Oh, what a bamboo. Mind if I take some of your treasure? Nope, not yours. I want yours. 
This dude with the red cheeks. What kind of treasure you got? Scorpion tail. Okay, the tier two. It's definitely not up there, so maybe it is under. What up, lizard boy? Ah! Get out of here. <gasps> That's probably it. I will take you. Alright, 7 out of 30 so far. I'm guessing the other one's on this boat. But where? <gasps> Come on. Really? Will you not let me on top? Ah, there we go. I don't know why he didn't let me before, but... Fair enough. See if we can find anything else in the deeper parts of the map. Oh, this place is cushiony as crap. Boing. I'll take that. Shut up. You didn't see nothing. Ooh, okay. Fine. Alright, there we go. Ooh, that was actually fairly close, though. Alright, got like no HP, so when we die, we are gonna get sent back. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is it over here? It literally tells me on the map. I don't know what I'm thinking. DNA. Hey, yo, what is that? Is that a cat? Is that... Oh, well, oops. My bad. Let's also give it a quick save here. I... I tend to forget that my game just randomly crashes. I should probably save. Before that happens and I start crying. But... Well, I guess even camels can have bad performance, I guess. My camel only has 20 horsepower. There's a bottle over here. There's two. Yeah, there's still that one bottle underneath. How do I get to this bottle? Hmm. <gasps> well, there's a treasure. can't really do anything with currently. Okay. Do I need Sir Coop here? No, okay. I can just do it myself. <gasps> oh, there, that bottle is on top. Okay. Mm. Ooh, okay. Okay. From all that, how did you get that he was on a boat? 
All right, we got that one too. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, give it another quick save a here. Ooh, is there another bottle over here? Oh, that was actually fairly close. All right, one more. Here we go. Ooh, that's just a collectible. But there also should be a bottle. Wait, the bottle's right. Oh, it's right over there. How do I reach that? Can I just fly to it? There you go. All right, 21 out of 30. I think we'll definitely finish up the bottles this episode, for sure. We'll finish up the mission, and then finish up the bottles. Hopefully they don't lock one of the bottles behind a special thing like the other map did, I'm hoping. But I guess we'll see, right? Salim Al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go nick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. Man, we got a hungry boy over here. Partner him up with Murray and they'll be fine. Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement. Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family, her true love was classical music. Well, that's mean. Uh, fortunately, her complete As a child? Lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish up the bottles this episode. Because I don't think I want to do it next episode. Maybe. Maybe this part right here will be in the next episode. Because maybe it's too long. But I don't know. But for now, we're going to go ahead. And we're going to try to get to the rest of the bottles right now. And try to get that safe. Under the bridge. But now, where is the second one? Ooh! Where is that second one? I can't reach it. Leave me alone. Oh, I could probably do this, though. Boing. Oh, there's a little piece of treasure right here. Actually, there's actually two pieces of treasure. Well, right now, what I'm, what I'm interested in is getting on top of that rope, to be honest. To get on this rope instead. Can I not go up that rope? 
I can just cheese my way up. I think this is definitely not how I'm supposed to do it. But if I just do this right, I definitely can. Oh. Oh, I'm sick. I'm so sick. Okay, so from this rope, I have to get on the other rope. I think this is the one that I'm looking for here. No, why did you grab that? Oh my god, I'm sick. Oh, no, I don't think I get this treasure now because then I, okay, I'm going to dare to do this. I'm going to try to do both. I'm going to try to get this treasure and I'm going to try to get that bottle. And if we don't get the treasure, that's fine. But, okay, I don't think we'll be able to, but there's this bottle over here that I need. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to make it, which is fine. We'll grab that treasure later. Honestly, right now, these bottles are a little bit more important to me. I'm very surprised we managed to get it, though, and that makes me really happy. Because, again, I don't think we're supposed to be able to grab that just yet. I think we were supposed to get the power, and then we we're supposed to get that bottle. Again, I, I don't know if maybe that was like an intentional design for like people who can kind of figure it out that you can still do that without the power. And again, I'm assuming it's a power because um, no matter what I do, I can't seem to be able to do it any other fashion. Like there's no physically no way for me to get up those ropes fast enough. All right, so we've looked around the edges of the map. We really should just be looking in the middle nowadays. Okay, there's both of them. Actually, we don't even need to look. We know exactly where both are. Now, we just have to get up there. There we go. I think I'm on the wrong side. But I can jump on this. I can jump on that. And bingo, there is both of them. Alright, so yep, once again, there's two bottles that really you're not supposed to get without powers, but if you do what I did, you can get them. There you go, we've collected all 30 bottles. Let's go ahead towards the safe, and we will end off... Well, I, I want to say the episode, but I'm again, I might have kind of cut this into the next episode depending on how the timing is, because I don't want to make them past 30, but... Alright, what do we got? Oh, wrong one. The Guru's Staff Piece. Alright, we'll have to figure out what that does in a future episode for now. Let's go back to the hideout and make sure we save. Look at that, bottles and safes. 100%. So now we just gotta look for treasure masks and trophies. And obviously a lot of those we'll be working on after we finish the game, most likely. Let's go ahead and save the game. Bop. Alright. 100%.